Good morning, the faith I live by October 9th, God's ideal for his church. Ephesians 5, 27, that he might present it to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. The Lord God is a jealous God, yet he bears long with the sins and transgressions of his people in this generation. If the people of God had walked in his counsel, the work of God would have advanced. The messages of truth would have been borne to all people that dwell on the face of the whole earth. But because the people are disobedient, unthankful, unholy, as were ancient Israel, time is prolonged that all may hear the last message of mercy proclaimed with a loud voice. The Lord's work has been hindered. The sealing time delayed. Many have not heard the truth, but the Lord will give them a chance to hear and be converted. What are you doing in the great work of preparation? Those who are uniting with the world are receiving the worldly mold and preparing for the mark of the beast. Those who are distrustful of self, who are humbling themselves before God and purifying their souls by obeying the truth, these are receiving the heavenly mold and preparing for the seal of God in their foreheads. When the decree goes forth and the stamp is impressed, their character will remain pure and spotless for eternity. Now is the time to prepare. The seal of God will never be placed upon the forehead of an impure man or woman. It will never be placed upon the forehead of the ambitious, world-loving man or woman. It will never be placed upon the forehead of men or women of false tongues or deceitful hearts. All who receive the seal must be without spot before God, candidates for heaven. Every individual soul, if he would receive the seal of the living God, must hear the word of the Lord and do it with exactitude. There must be no such thing as haphazard religion if men would have a place in the family of God. Now is the time while the four angels are holding the four winds to make our calling and election sure. Hope you have a great day today. Live in faith.